We are at the craziest tank that I have ever seen in my entire life. Big Sump system alone is mind blowing. This tank is insane. 500 gallons. Honestly, I thought it was bigger because it's just like massive. I, I, crazy. Our, our display tank's like what? Like right, right here maybe? It's so sick. It's off of the wall too, which makes it even nicer. Everything just blends in super duper nice. This tank belongs to Cuban Reefer. And you've had this tank running up for how long now? Two years and three months. This isn't your first tank, is it? No, the third one. Third one? Did you, I'm assuming you started smaller than this? <laughs> I started with a 90 gallon. Oh, that's still pretty big. And then a Red Sea. Uh, a Red Sea. 650S Max, something like that. But I still have it. It's in my office. What made you want to go to such a, a massive size tank? Believe it or not, that tank wasn't supposed to be here. That tank was supposed to be on that wall where the table is. Oh yeah? And behind you was supposed to be a bedroom. But my wife told me, let's get that bedroom off. Let's move the bedroom to the behind the tank. And let's move the tank from here to here. And you can do whatever size you want. Oof. So, so. I, I immediately <laughs> said 11 feet. But the glass only come in 10 feet. After that is custom made glass, which is really expensive. So this is 10, 10 foot? 10 foot. But it is still a custom tank. It's still a custom tank, yeah. This was done by Exotic Aquarium, Bob and Karen. Clearly, as you can see, he really likes acros, but there's also some really impressive fish in here. There's a huge variety of fish in here, like fish that I've never seen in my entire life. I'm saying in my entire life because this is like the biggest tank I've ever seen in my entire life, the nicest tank, craziest fish. It's like, it's a lot going on here. Like, look at this fish. That's the Cuban basset, right? Yep. Uh, that guy right there, Cuban yeah. basslet. There's two and of them. This one here. Yeah, it used this... to be three. Actually, it used to be five. But he said these fish used to go for five grand back in the five day. Five grand back in the day. Today Crazy. you can get them at like five hundred in Christmas. Insane. They're really. They had a really pretty purple fin on them though. Yeah, I had the opportunity to the biota contacted me to have them, so I feel lucky. Look at it. Whew. Even the, the, the holders for the power boxes are nicer than, than well, the stuff. <laughs> right now, there is a little bit of mess because two lights broke, so I had to send it to Ecotech. Uh huh. And you know, when you put everything super organized, when you try to disconnect something, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. So, this is a little now messy. I got a chance to, to fix it. Oh, look at these fish. Look they at know, them. They know I'm gonna feed them. Yeah, they're excited. This month, we're gonna be giving away one of these three gallon nano tanks to one of you guys. Entering the giveaway is free and easy. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below. The giveaway entry window will close January 31st, and the winner will be announced on February 3rd. Now back to your scheduled program. Oh my gosh. There's such a variety. It's crazy that they like don't fight and stuff. No, the only one that is a little bit cranky is one of the pyramid butterfly. That one in particular is the biggest one. It's a little bit cranky lately, so it's probably gonna have to be relocated. You said they're, they're called a butterfly fish? Yeah, pyramid butterfly. So pretty. Huh. This literally looks like a reef from the ocean with all the fish. That's a mimic tank, an orange shoulder, a koi tank, blue, co blue chest they call it because when the light is white, like I told you, it turns pretty much light yellow and the chest is all blue. That's so crazy. Look at look at these, how chunky they are. Fat little That boys. one is turning into a male. That's one of my favorite fish. It's actually my level. That's a marine beta. That, that one, right? The yeah. black dots? Yeah, yeah. there's two of them. Those are, those are pretty cool. It's a big time, so you can have everything double. Yeah, and, the, and they just, they just find their own little yep. crevice. Look, they're just, how do you know when you fed too much? I mean, there's just so many fish that I could just keep eating and eating. I love to feed them. <laughs> That's so why cool. I told you I had to put the sulfur reactor to lower the nitrous. And then these guys, I have never seen these butterfly fish before either. Pyramid butterfly. They're so cool. And they ha there is a black one, it's back there, they call it saucer or something like that. Not this one. Yeah, how? This one? Yep, look at that yellow tip on top. So cool. 
There was another really cool fish in here. I mean, they're all cool, but there was, oh, that one's pretty too. Uh, Regal Angel? Oh, what? Regal Angel. Regal Angel? Yeah, that's a really pretty fish. That one's pretty. Where's the other? That's Gem Tang, right? Gem Tang, super fat. I feel like all of your fish are super fat. Like these are humongous. Yeah. Like I said, I, as long as I see that they're eating, I keep feeding and feeding. And even though now I feed them, I will put algae later and later on tonight, I will put frozen food. <laughs> Hungry fish. So while we got this open, it looks, is that, are those Radions? Yeah, those are G5s. G5s, how many are you running? Oof. Uh, only seven. Only seven? <laughs> only seven? Oh my goodness. There's only seven Radions in here. Those seven Radions cost more than all my tanks put together and all the coral inside of them and probably the tanks I'll have in the future too. Gosh. That's all the collection of stickers that I've been collecting. Oh, I should have brought stickers. Well, I have you don't have my sticker? I can give one to you. Dang, I messed up. I should have brought stickers. Thank you. Ooh, cafecito. Just the look of it like that. It looks kind of cool with the uh, with the cabinets open. Which, I, <laughs> I always keep it open. Yeah? Yeah, during the day I keep it open. If I'm gonna start watching TV, I close it. But otherwise, because that way, you know, I have an air conditioning outlet and an egg sauce over there. That's a, that's a fan getting the heat out. Because over here, usually, right now, it's at 85.7. Yeah, 85.7. I have a temperature probe in there, and uh, the exhaust goes automatically with a, with a probe, temperature probe, but it gets sometimes to 90. I bought one head, like, eight years ago. Wow. And I have that colony, one in my office bigger than that. It had another colony. I've been giving heads because they dropped the babies. They drop the heads, so we catch them, put it in one of those containers, they get glued, and you give it to somebody. These bounce mushrooms, sun kiss, huge. That was given to me by a friend named Cardinal Reef. Good, good, good friend. I'm not exaggerating when I say one of these like bounces is probably half the size of my entire mushroom. But maybe it will grow this big. Obviously, we can't talk about all of the acros that you have in here because there's just so many. So then let me see a couple corals that I really like and then we'll do it that way. Let's see what we got here. That's a grafted something over there. That's a grafted digitata. Very nice. Okay, we got one. Red one with the yellow at the top. My acro garden's shaping up to be nice like this too. Well, believe it or not, we put in branches. Like you see these branches, mm -hmm. we glue them and then we started putting the uh, frags. This one is loose, I had to glue it. So this is all uh, artificial rock, you all said, right? Artificial. Yeah, that was my biggest mistake that I never put this rock to be acclimated, to cycle. Oh, okay. So that's what set me back. You know what that yellow one is there? The yellow one that's, right there. Uh, I th that's pretty. <laughs> the thing is that Coral change in every tank. Yeah, it depends so who you're asking too. The thing is that yeah. we glue it here, we put it here, they start growing and encrusting and they change the color. It's crazy. You see, this is Bill Murray. Hey, I just got one of those. The one on the tip here, right? The, this one here, yeah. With the one that is dead in the center. Yeah. I call it a palm tree because it looks like a palm tree. <laughs> but that one, he gave it to me. I put it there. Next morning, it was white in the middle. Really? And then it suddenly started growing. You can see this growing on, on top of the depth part. This guy's uh, chilling. ASD rainbow? Nope. Dang. Yeah, pretty much the same solar flare. Solar flare. Ah. I, I think it's the same color. I was gonna say mine looks just like that. Mm -hmm. I almost I almost got it. But I was wrong. <laughs> oh, that's gonna look cool when it encrusts up there. Well, it was five. That is one over there. Different color. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the meteor shower. Mm -hmm. They're about to start uh growing. And that's an old monty. <laughs> that died. Oh, yeah. Red. That one used to be blue, I think, right? Mm -hmm. When these all like grow, grow, that's going to be insane. Yeah, that's what I wanted to, to cover the back in, in that. I love the color blue and orange. And then I see we got a, some little euphelia action over here. This is the pretty much the only spot you're... Yeah, this, I, my, my Red Sea uh, was like this. The right side of the time was completing hammers and, and euphelias and frog spawns. Yeah. So little by little, I'm... But I got these two in there that I don't know if it's too much flow from the MP60s. They don't open well or someone is nipping on them. 
Yeah, I like that little. I used to have a little green with the pink, but yeah. it died. Which oh, one? actually, that's a that's a frog spawn, right? That's a frog spawn. That yeah, the okay, both frog spawn. I had a torch one. And somebody's nipping on the cuddles because that Duncan. Yeah, it's closed up. Uh, it's closed up, and if you see the the digitata, the tips are beating. So I haven't been able to see who is doing it. Which one of you guys is eating some coral? There's I, so many of them. I know the file fish. Look how pretty these is beating on the Duncan, that beautiful firefish. I think it's keeping the Aptasia under control. Speaking of Aptasia, I just, you have peppermint shrimp in here? Nope. They took care of mine. So also speaking of flow, you have Four two, two, and two MP60s. Two MP60s. So Actually, much it flow. Was three. In that corner, it was three. Two on top and one on the bottom. Oh, and you took it off? Yeah, I took it off. Keeping it as a spare now. And you are running Apex setup, Mobis and Apex. Yeah. Look at these little urchins too. We got a real cool one eating on the tank right here, moving, whatever he's doing. I don't know. He's probably moving. But then we got these over here with hard hats. Huh? <laughs> they collect all the dead snails for you, so that way. Oh yeah. Look, he's got so so many urchins in here. I think More like back there. Fifteen in total. What was this one called? This one with the blue? Uh, tuxedo Urchin. Tuxedo Urchin. Have you, you haven't tried to put like a little hat in here for him? Oh, <laughs> I've seen people doing that. Yeah, <laughs> little hats and little... <laughs> so you might be wondering, what does a sump like to run this tank look like? Well, it's not down here, ladies and gentlemen. That's because he has a whole nother setup outside for the sump of this tank and has the piping ran under the ground. Let's go check it out. Guys, this is a sump for that tank. Great. The tank is 500 gallons. This is 300? 300 gallons up? Uh, 260 liters. It's built underground. Oh, I like the little lights you turned on. Like oh, there we go. So this is an outdoor sump. Look at it, we got a little ladder to crawl down there. I don't know that I'm gonna crawl down there, but we got one if we want to go down there. Humongous skimmer, quantum. Now, you said that was the biggest one they got? Yes, they are. Nano's 300. Nano's 300. That thing is huge. Humongous. Humongous. You want me to go down there? Put your hand here. Where? Yeah. No, here. No, here. Here? Yeah. Put your foot in the ladder. Oh, man. I've seen this and in a movie. Start, and start coming down. And when a couple steps down, you say, you're not going to go here. I know. <laughs> you might fall in the water, but that's it. <laughs> I can go swimming in there, take a little bath. Oh, yeah, we're good. We made it! All right, guys, look, we're literally underground right now. So insane. I wish I could break this down for you, but I can't. Cuban Reefer, that's a really dope sign. He does got the Apex running. That, I mean, what is there different levels to Apex? Or like, no, I don't know anything about it. So. Apex, uh, they're measuring temperature, pH, flow, uh, pH on the, uh, hot water, pH on the calcium reactor. Really nicely mounted in there. This is a, a real nice enclosure too for it. And then this is the Mobis, Mobius dosing yeah. system. Yeah, there's a doser. He's got that set up. What, what do we got going on? What we is this? We have two red dragons. Those are the control for the return for the tank. Okay. And the Evis 400 is giving water to the chiller, to the UV only. There's a chiller over there with the, the, the Pipe pipes underground. are running underground. Yeah, these are the pipes. And this is the, the pipe that takes the power over there. The reason is red. That's the water from the tank, which mm -hmm. is the warmer water. Yep. And this is the cooler. Uh, Feeding back one. in. Yeah, feeding back. Which is coming here and dump it back there. Yeah. And then, Ooh, look at yeah. that filter floss. Yeah. One outlet. That's I put that what, two hours ago. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, I have to change that twice a day. Uh, I mean daily. Really? Yeah. Wait, wait, but what part of this do you change daily? This. That whole piece? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like that one piece would last me a year. <laughs> <laughs> This was going to be a denitrator to lower nitrates. Okay. But I never use it, so I keep rocking there, cycling, and some mangrove. So what are you running in the, in the bag? That's uh, aqua char. Oh, yeah, I got that in, well, not in the display tank. I got it in yeah, my other aqua char. I love it, to be honest. It's pure coffee. Wow. That thing is working. So. How often do you got to clean that out? A uh, week. Every week? Yep. That's not too bad, I guess. It's huge. Look, it goes all the way down there. Crazy. This is Apex sign too? Yeah. That's a flow meter. Flow meter? Yeah. Wow. 
there's so many things on like a size a tank this size that are just Oh, they got you got another one over here. Yep. So what? It just tells you like as it's going through the pipes, it's like little that breakpoints. Much, that, how much flow you have per hour? And then here you got a uh, CO2, That's a CO2 right? From the calcium reactor, which is back here. Boom. It's a geo calcium reactor. You can see the median there. Running two I, little fishies, I, right? Yeah, two little fishies. Yeah. I keep this black. Now I have to put a new tape because that way it doesn't get uh, algae in there. Yeah. So that way, when you keep it close like that, it's clean. I like you scrubber from Clear Water Scrubbers. What it does is it creates a natural algae in there to lower your nitrates and a little bit of phosphates. What are these? I saw them out there too. That's the, Miracle Mud. A what? Miracle Mud. What does it do? Uh, miracle Mud? It's supposed to give you certain minerals to the water. Uh, it'll help you to the lateral disease in the fish. Very well recommended by Mike Paleta. And I said, hey Mike, how many pounds do you think I need for my tank? He said, a hundred pounds? <laughs> More so, filter floss over here too. Down, yeah, this filter floss clean the water from the tank. Okay. And that one cleans the water going into the tank. Ah. But I usually keep that, I, I put it today to polish the water, which you can tell it wasn't as it was supposed to be. So this is the chiller setup, also huge. And then these are like the pipes that run under. And then you have reservoir, this one's That's the salt. Cold water. Huge Two reservoir, 150 gallons. 250 gallons, crazy. And then right on the, oh, all the supplies. And then right on this side, RO. That's RO, yeah. Double membrane, double uh, resin. I have three canisters of uh, sediment and three canisters of carbon. Thank you so much to Cuban You're Reefer welcome. for uh, having us check out this beautiful system. I will have links to his social media down below. He posts stuff on his tank all the time, so check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.